Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart. Um, the fight to safety in gold continues. Um, as the market around the world continue to show some concerns about debt and debt ratings and uh, the strength of different currencies, uh, people are finding safety in gold. Uh, in two days, we've gone up basically 100 points. I mean, we've got it open at 16.78, but in reality, we opened at 16. We closed uh, at 16.55 here. Okay, 16.60. And our high for the day is 1760. So in two days, we've gone up 100 points. Uh, quite impressive indeed. Um, so, I mean, no same person is going to give you a buy or a sell point at this point. It's obviously overbought. Um, your risk tolerance is going to have to be factored in here. You're buying at a high point here. But where do you short also? So when we come over to our hourly profile, our market profile, we can see that um, we pretty much cycled for the day up and down. We found support in yesterday's high, where we basically closed, became our support. And so even when we pulled back, we pulled back and took off. But you can see even today's range is about 17.20 all the way up to... Uh, you know, 1780, so almost uh, a 60 point range just in today. We came down, air kissed, oversold, and we've made our way back up. So, uh, the market is uh, once again telling us that uh, there's safety in gold, but again, uh, it's obviously overbought, and your risk tolerance is going to have to tell whether or not you can feel comfortable buying at such high prices. Next, we're going to move to the pound dollar. And what we've been talking about here on the pound dollar is this range, but recently we've been talking about this tighter range of about 1.645 down to about 1.64, 1.62. So about 200 point range and that our buyers continually coming in and finding value. So even today where we did violate that a little bit, we had the 20 and the 50 moving average acting as support and we did break down through it. But basically, right around the FOMC rate release for the states, the market came back, and we remain in this tight range. And so, you know, you guys know how I feel. I really don't like to trade this. This is a tight range. There are trades to be made, especially on smaller time frames. But for our trend traders, our longer-term time frame, time frame traders, I really don't like to trade this. This is just choppiness. Um, but as we look at it, We can basically see on our hourly time frame that we have we are below um, our long-term moving average. We were in a buy zone. We've kind of made our way back into a neutral zone. Um, we can also see that the dollar had taken command, but now they're both below zero, and we had a move up in the pound, although it's um, it seems to be weighing off just a little bit, but the dollar is falling harder which is allowing for us to move up as the dollar is falling harder. Um, easier to see here where we can see the pair, the pound moving down, leveling off, and here we can see the dollar moving down and then a little bit more of an aggressive or 
a deeper uh, move down. So uh, as we snake around neutral, that's what we're seeing on the daily chart also. So with the daily chart showing the same consolidation, you can certainly buy the support, sell the resistance, um, or wait for a trend to develop. Let's move on to the euro dollar. As we switch over to the euro dollar, um, we can see the move up that it's making. We also have identified this larger range that the market is trading. Um, we really could get rid of the trend lines that we had in here from before. I'll, I'll do that afterwards. But the market has been in the trading. Now, just like the pound dollar, th there is still a lot of choppiness in this, and I'm not sure there's something that I want to trade except for this range. So I want to be shorting up here at around 1.5. Four five, and I want to be buying down here about 1.41 uh, until proven wrong, which technically would have stopped out here. Uh, but but this is your absolute. You know, you definitely want to be buying down here until proven wrong. You know, certainly we think there's room for us to go lower, but because we continue to put in lower highs, and so we need the market to kind of pivot right around now if we're going to continue to put in lower highs, or are we once again going to test a four or five? 1.45 price level. As we look at the the uh, hourly time frame, here we can see that we are just above our long-term moving average, and we are, you know, in a sell selling area, which would coincide with what we're talking about on the daily about needing to turn here if you're going to get a a a, a lower high. However, uh, we can see that the euro has taken control, which is going to keep this moving higher. Uh, as we saw with the pound dollar, the the, um, the dollar is continuing to move down, and the euro is moving up. And so that's really why you're seeing this big move over the past hour, and that sort of correlates with the FOMC rate decision with the with the dollar that they're basically doing nothing. Um, so. Uh, Larger time frame, you know, we can see even though we're in a sell area, you can see that we're snaking. And you can see that this 1.437-ish level is a place that the market, the sellers have found value to push this down. Even if we come over to our daily chart, we can see the wicks in here. We can see the wicks of where um, sellers have found value and pushed us down. Even yesterday, same thing happening. So we, we are going to have to watch that as well. Finally, we're going to look at the, the dollar franc. And as we come to the daily, now this is something we could trade. There's clearly a trend. Um, even once we broke out of this, uh, once we broke out of this channel, I mean, the market has done nothing but move lower. So that's why it's important to watch these channels. We pointed out some channels on the pound dollar and the euro dollar, and now we're seeing some trending action. So this is something we certainly love to change. However, as far as our philosophy, we have remained on the hourly time frame. Uh, in a buy zone, well below our long-term moving average. As a matter of fact, we've actually closed outside of our, our Bollinger Band. So, um, you know, there certainly is eventually going to have to be this move up. That doesn't mean, again, that we're going to come all the way up here. Perhaps our long-term moving average is going to work its way down towards us. Um, but we're clearly oversold on this one. We can see the franc clearly in control. And as it's moving up and the dollar's moving down, you get that divergence. You really had that divergence right here. And you can see that really was when the beginning of a spike. And as the franc came back down, now we're starting to see a little parity and a little bit move back into the norm. So the dollar's still weak. The franc's still strong. This should continue to move lower until the dollar can gain some, some, some bearing, some ground on the franc. It's time to take a look at our watch list. For our low volatility watch list, this is our one hour time frame using our standard Bollinger Band setting. We're going to look at the Aussie dollar and the Euro Yen. For our inside bar watch list, we're looking at today's price range as compared to the previous day, marking the high and the low, and we're going to be watching the Euro dollar. 
as we continue on in our education spotlight, we're going with the basic premise of every uh, t trader, and that is to know your plan and trade your plan. Sometimes in trading, we forget about it. It's not just about knowing your setups and trading your setups, but it's also about knowing why you are trading. Do you have weekly goals, daily goals, monthly goals? Are you checking to see are you on track? Uh, more importantly, are you over trading to keep on track? Um, you know, our cartoon talks about look what I found in a dumpster, a perfectly good business plan. And the reason I have that is that so often people take other people's plans without personalizing them and try to trade them. And so when I say know your plan, it's about knowing your plan, not somebody else's plan. There's nothing wrong with taking someone else's plan. There's nothing wrong with buying a system, getting coaching. We highly encourage that. But you have to take the time to personalize it, to match it to who you are as a trader, and then you trade it. But once you know that trading system, you then still have to have checkups. Do you have a journal? Um, are you checking your results to make sure that you're still on track to meet your goals? As you know, you can find our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page, Are You Financial Literate, on Facebook. And we do have a couple resources. We have a free five-course video course on high probability trading. It will help you develop your own, and there is a bonus at the end. You have to watch all the way to the end. We have our coaching. Again, the key to trading is not about the system. It's not about the indicator. It's about a trader's mindset. And our coaching sessions help you one-on-one -on -one develop a personalized trading plan and help you develop that psychological capital to have a trader's mindset to be successful. Cashback for Forex Trade. This is where you can get paid to trade. It's rebates for your Forex Trade. Uh, you can get paid through PayPal. However, it doesn't change your spreads. It doesn't change trading conditions. It's just rebates for trading. And finally, automated forex trading. If you want signals, uh, there are a bunch of providers here to give you uh, great signals to be traded automatically, or you can re receive the signals and trade them yourself. As we always say, it's not about the system, it's not about the indicators, it's not about the room that you're in. It's about having the psychological capital to be in full control of your emotions and having that trader's mindset that allows you to trade day in, day out. It allows you to know your plan and to trade your plan. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.